All right, welcome in everybody. I'm Vinny Bag of Chips, and today we're gonna play some American Truck Simulator. It's a really solid game. Um, I haven't played it in a little while, but I just got the Texas DLC and Kansas, I think. So we're gonna do a run from Dallas to Houston, and then we'll try and get something from Houston up to Kansas. So yeah, it'll be fun. Settle in. Let's do this. All right, let's get the old girl fired up. There we go. Perfect. The lights turned on here. Oh yeah, I think we're ready to do some trucking. The rest of the lights on here and take a little peek at our load. We're hauling yard trucks here. Just down to the Houston Harbor. No big deal, nice easy step deck load, you know. So let's get to trucking. We ain't earning if those wheels ain't turning. There we go, all right. Release the brakes. All right, looks like everything's all clear. We'll just keep on a rolling here. Nighttime trucking. I just barely realized I should probably check and see if we have enough fuel, but we have enough fuel. We're good. I love nighttime trucking in, in this game. It is freaking awesome. So, let's get some miles. This is going to be a nice run. I feel it. I can feel it. We're just going to pay no mind to these red lights and just uh, mosey on about our way here. We got trucking stuff to do. <laughs> Jump the curb here since it's in my way. Shouldn't have looked at me sideways. Do an outside view. We are merging. Yes, we're merging. Oh, nice clear freeway at night. Man, I love night trucking in real life and in this game, but real life night trucking is amazing because you can't see your surroundings and it goes by so much faster. <laughs> that was the main reason why I liked it. Gotta get headed towards Houston and then we'll be able to start getting some miles. I wonder if they got the statue that's out there on the outside of Houston of Sam Houston. <laughs> I'm curious if that's gonna be there because that's how every time I was out trucking in the world, that's how I could always tell that we're getting close to Houston is up oh, there's that statue out in the middle of the woods for no reason. <laughs> oh, there's a little accident up here. Let's just slink our way on by them and act like it's no big deal. Accidents do not pertain to us. This load is very important. Don't mind me going by at 75 miles an hour. <laughs> I'm sure they're fine with it. The cops wouldn't mind. All right, now that we're back on track and past the accident, <laughs> is there a scale up here? Oh god, there's a scale. Alright. Go check out the scale. See what they want. Stop at the scale house and let them weigh us. Look the truck over. All right, pull up here, let them weigh us. 61,000 pounds gross. Hey, we're actually pretty light, that's nice. Let's get the hell out of here before they start looking at things too closely and decide to write us a ticket. <laughs> All right, back on the road again. Oh yeah, just cruising under the Texas night sky. That guy think he's gonna pass us? Cause it's not gonna happen, but I promise you, we'll stay in front of you. We're out here getting miles, son. Out here getting miles. All right, let's do like a high-speed time-lapse montage all the way to Houston. I'm not gonna move the camera or do nothing. We'll just do it like a, a hyperlapse, like on GoPro. Ready? Go. <laughs> here we go. And bam, we made it to Houston. Well, we still got 79 miles to go, but we're in the outskirts of Houston, at least city limits, so. Hopefully that ended up being a cool hyper hyperlapse or whatever. If not, I just cut to this and it, you know, that means nothing now. <laughs> I'm just talking about nonsense. Either way, I'm fine with it. <laughs> Move on over over here now. 
Gotta be on I-35. Or I-10. No, we don't want I-10. We want to be in this outside lane, though. Turn, truck, turn. Don't mind the walls. They're just there to guide us. <laughs> Little grindage on the wall. Just call that redneck pinstriping. <laughs> well, it kind of sucks that it's nighttime. We can't really see the city, but, you know, whatever. Trucking at night is much easier. There's way less traffic. On the brakes. There we go. Come on, old girl. Let's go. It's a slip down the shoulder here like it's no big deal. Pro strat. Go down the shoulder without touching the wall or the traffic. <laughs> Man, we're good. And now we can get off this ramp. Perfect. 12 miles. Good, because we need fuel. I'm glad there's a truck stop right here. Looks like a 76. Yep, that's a 76. God, 76s are cool. That's an old school truck stop. I'm glad they're still around. Come on, bud. Oh, plenty of room. Plenty of room. This is a hell of a way to come into a yard. I'm glad I don't have a bigger trailer. I need my mirrors. Gotta check this out. We come in. I don't know if we came in the right way. I hope we did. Oh yeah, we did. Howdy, boys. Thank you, sir. Go dump our load off. Man, that sounded bad. <laughs> All right, let's let's go drop off our our cargo. There we go. That's a better wording. Oh, that's a nice, easy pull-in spot too. All right. Turn the lights off. Turn the truck off and unload. Bam. Successful haul, and we discovered uh, Houston, which is mostly what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we can find for cargo. We want something going up to Kansas, so we'll take those forklifts. Going to Colby. They're not real heavy, so it should be a pretty easy haul, you know. Now let's go ahead and get out of here. All right, we got to go 44 miles down the road, so let's run down the road and get some fuel. See, can I bluff one of these cars out? Up. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I turned a little early. You know how it is. Trying to look at traffic and all that. Ran over the stop sign a little bit. It's fine. Nice and easy. No big deal. All right, I'll bring you guys, bring you guys in when we're getting loaded up and starting to head on down the road. There we go. Let's get our forklifts on here. All right, let's get loaded up. Now yeah, we'll be running first thing in the morning. This will be nice. Oh yeah, just as the sun's coming up, fire up the truck, got our forklifts on. Oh, this is going to be a sweet little haul. Alright, get the hell out of here. Nine hundred and fifty-four miles to go. Let's just turn and burn. Let's go like 85 and just, just haul ass and get there as quick as we can. <laughs> there we go. Now we're getting some mileage. Don't mind us, officer. Blazing by it. 80 miles an hour. Nothing to see here. Oh yeah, now that we're out in the open road, I mean, this is just nice, easy running. The truck isn't even struggling to keep the speed. It's not a problem at all. Traffic might be a problem, though. <laughs> Oh, it was an accident. Okay, let's just weave our way through here like it's no big deal. Don't mind me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> really important cargo here, guys. Don't mind us. Leaving everyone in the dust. <laughs> yeah, see you later, Chevy Bolt. 
Blazing a trail across Texas. Earn and burn, baby. Look at us go. Burning up the highway. Making everyone look like they're slow. Almost beating the camera everywhere we go. Oh, we did beat the camera. <laughs> Gotta go slower if we want the camera to make it look cool. Sorry, little Caesars, but you ain't good enough. Hey, hey, hey. This is my lane. Yeah. You came into my, my space there, minivan. Well, we've been burning up the concrete for a little while now. Closing in on... Well, let's see where we're at in the map here. Where are we? We still got a long way to go till we're even out of Texas. <laughs> we're barely closing in on Dallas, so this is gonna be a long haul. And I'm fine with it. Dallas looks freaking awesome. Especially at daytime, since we went blazing through here at night times. <laughs> yeah, during the day it looks great. Taking nice and easy through town and just taking the sights, you know. I mean, they even got the overpasses and all the flyovers so they look right with all the stars and everything on them like they have there. I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> nice. All right, now we gotta jump off here and do a little jog over. Ignore these lights here, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> no big deal. Got a green light over here. Do our little jog over and then continue north. Hey everybody. Don't mind me, I'm just taking some really important forklifts to somebody. It's uh it's Michael Jordan, you know how it is. He wants his forklifts like now, so gotta go. See you later. Now we're on the right road. Make our way onto the interstate again. We are back in business. Get back to burning up the asphalt and concrete. God, there's so many way stations. Why do they always, I mean, I, I, they want to keep us safe on the road, so I understand, but I swear they're more efficient in this game than they are in real life. Oh, they gave us a green light. Oh, that's amazing, because I wasn't going to stop anyway. <laughs> we were just going to continue on our merry way. Look at that way station. Look at those plebs sitting in line. Have fun sitting in line, losers. <laughs> We'll be down the road having fun. Man, it is beautiful out here. These maps are gorgeous. I love the ambiance. Amazing. I remember playing 18 Wheels of Steel. I don't think very many people would even know what that computer game is, but I wasn't able to play very many computer games growing up because we didn't really have computers. I was a console pleb up until, you know, two or three years ago. But when my brother's PC would play a game, I think 18 Wheels of Steel was only one of the few games that we got to work on. It never got The Sims 2 to work, never got Morrowind to work, but we did get 18 Wheels of Steel to work on it, and I played the shit out of that. And think of that game, and then look at this. I mean, look at that river. Think of that game, and then think of this now. It blows my mind. How far we've come. It's awesome. Looks like that is Oklahoma City up ahead. Look at Oklahoma City. Oh, the Petro Truck Stop. God, I love Petro Truck Stops. When they used to have the Iron Skillet uh, restaurants in them, which, you know, from what my dad tells me, they really don't anymore. Like, restaurants are not really a thing in truck driving anymore, sadly. But when they used to have the Iron Skillet, oh my God, they had the best open-faced chili burger. Don't mind me as I'm just wandering all over the road telling my open-faced chili burger story, but... I think we made a wrong turn too, but it's fine. It's fine because the open face chili burger was an amazing chili burger, okay? Bring it back, Petro. We need restaurants. Truck drivers need a place to get out of the truck. That was always like the best part of the day. You've been in the truck for 10 hours. Let us go in the truck stop and sit down and have a meal. What are we doing? Not all of us want fast food. Some of us are old school and want a real meal. Hook us up. We need restaurants. <laughs> 442 miles to go. Let's do this. Well, looks like the day is getting ready to wind down as we're heading north here on I-35. That's okay. I mean, we've been trucking all day, so it'll work out just fine. I like night trucking. It goes by fast. <laughs> But it is nice to see how pretty these maps are. I wanted to see Kansas. Oklahoma's pretty cool, too. I mean, this is pretty much what Oklahoma looks like, so they nailed it. <laughs> not a whole lot there. There's really not a whole lot in Kansas, either, so... If it's nighttime when we get there, we're not missing much. 
Well, it looks like we should probably be stopping to get fuel pretty soon. I mean, we're just below half on... I wish I could check both tanks individually in a real truck. Or at least in one of my trucks. You could check each fuel tank individually and know whether there's any kind of imbalance or anything going on. And also, how much fuel you got. Like, exactly. Instead of just going, ah, it's... It's probably half and both. You're fine. <laughs> That's not really the measurement I like. I want to know exactly what we got. That's the way that works. Ah, uh, Wichita. Okay, so I guess we are officially in Kansas. I didn't realize that. I didn't see a sign saying welcome to Kansas or anything. We were just kind of trucking along here, but we're in Kansas, so congratulations. We did it. <laughs> the sun is still up. All right, we got to get off here. Do a little loop to do. All right, let's jump on the big road here and finish up the rest of this trip since we're just about halfway. Well, we're more than halfway done now. Way more than halfway done. We're almost there. We're almost there. Got to see Kansas in the daylight, which is pretty friggin' awesome. Well, looks like the sun's getting ready to go down. Here's Salina. Salina, Kansas. Nice. Another one. Check out the books. Alright, right up here we're going to make our little turn off to the west. And finish up the last leg of our little jaunt here. Yep, sun is definitely going down. Turn on our uh, clearance lights here. No need to turn on our headlights yet, but clearance lights and cool looking lights, absolutely. Oh yeah, nighttime trucking in Kansas. At least we get to do a little bit of that before this run is over. Did a little bit of everything, you know. Looks like we're getting pretty close to being out of fuel, but we're only 116 miles away, so we're, we're going to push on and hope that our fuel lasts. <laughs> Hopefully it makes it. I'm sure it will. It'll be fine. Hayes, Kansas. Sunflower State. Discovering all kinds of things here in Kansas at night. Up. Oh, just gave me the warning saying it's running out of fuel. I think we're well aware that it's running out of fuel. <laughs> <laughs> we're running as fast as we can. Look, there's the red thing. We're almost there. We're gonna make it. We made it. Oh, we made it. Look, there's a TA here. There's a Petro here. We can stop and get up. Oh, oh, we're going off road. Let me pay attention where we're going first. We can stop and get fuel. We made it. Colby, we discovered it. Rush over here to the fuel islands. Ah, uh, 4.34 a gallon. Oh my god, that's expensive, but you know what? It's fine. Grab fuel, and then we'll go finish this haul. 235 gallons. Yeah, I'd say we were pretty bone dry. Get out of here. Finish this haul. There's our parking spot. Oh yeah. Got you guys this forklifts. All right. Here you go. Here's your junk. Good work. Oh, come on, man. Not like I damaged it that much. Okay, 1.5%. Still, that's pretty good. <laughs> you bastards. 
Well, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff and stick around. You know, I, I post as often as I can, sometimes every day. You never know. Hope to see you on the next video. Until then, bye. <laughs> never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand.